then obviously the people are going to become low in iodine as well. And the people who are most vulnerable to low iodine, as I've already mentioned, are of course growing fetuses, babies before they're born. In many areas, iodine deficiency in pregnant mothers is as high as 60 or 70 percent. And in the children when they're born, in such areas, no less than 80 percent or more may be iodine deficient. That means to say, really, they will be short in thyroid. How can we measure whether there's enough iodine around or not? Well, there's a lot of controversy about this, and it's a tricky thing to do. It's not as simple as a blood test, I'm afraid to say. You really have to, apparently, check the iodination in the water, the iodine level, iodide level, in the water, or in the urine. The urine is perhaps the best of the lot. Very few laboratories seem to do this. It certainly isn't on the list of tests that my laboratory does. The laboratory I use is one of the it's a, an offshoot of one of the biggest American laboratories, whose name I needn't mention, um, and they don't have that on the list. In fact, I use two laboratories, and I don't believe either of them routinely test iodide in the urine, and yet that seems to be the best way of testing. You can test for thyroid function, but actually that's not really telling you what the underlying cause is. We need to know what the iodine levels are and whether that's the cause of the problem. And we certainly don't do that on any large scale, nor in the UK do we add iodine to our water supplies. I've already explained that goiters can become very large if people do get them, and they may be so large that they can actually press on other structures in the neck, for example the gullet, when you swallow your esophagus, you may have difficulty in swallowing. A large goiter can press on the trachea and cause an irritant cough or to contribute to snoring, for example. Or it may even compress the recurrent laryngeal nerve, which supplies the vocal cords, in which case you get a very hoarse voice. It seems, from what I've read at any rate, that the hoarse voice that people get with large goiters is usually due to this compression of the la recurrent laryngeal nerve. If you have deficiency in iodine, you almost certainly will have some sort of a goiter. If you do have iodine deficiency as a, as, a, as a pregnant mother, then it's very likely that your child will have iodine deficiency too. Iodine deficiency during the growth period of the fetus, when the brain's really sort of starting off from scratch and being formed, is absolutely crucial, especially during the first three months of pregnancy. But even later in pregnancy, it's still very important. It's thought that 38 million children a year are exposed to the risk of lifelong consequences of brain damage associated with iodine deficiency. In fact, iodine deficiency, one way or another, is thought to be the main treatable cause of irreversible brain damage in the world. So if that's the problem, what is the solution? Well, up to a point we've already discussed that. I ordinate the water or the salt. Well, at this point, I thought, that's interesting. I'll um, have a look at the side of uh, uh, one of these expensive bottles of water you buy from the supermarket. And it gives an analysis of what's in it. I didn't, certainly didn't get a mention in that. Then I thought, what about table salt? I mean, are we adding it to table salt? Because that is a hugely important thing to do. Actually, adding it to table salt is probably the best way of distributing it widely through the population, and it's the way that's most recommended by the World Health Organization. So I went to the... I was in the kitchen already. I got out the salt, and I had a look on the salt, uh, salt things. Interestingly enough, even the sea salt and sea salt is usually good for iodine, didn't say anything about iodine being in it. The ordinary table salt said nothing at all about iodine, and certainly it wasn't added to it. Well, as I've said, only 5% of the salt we, can, we consume 
in the UK does have iodine added to it, so it would have been surprising if it had been any different. It's a bit surprising that even the sea salt didn't talk about the iodine. However, that's the way it is. Henry Labousse, who's UNICEF's, that's the United Nations Education Fund, Children's Education Fund, second executive director, stated in the name of the World Health Organization, it ought to be a crime that even one more child be allowed to be born mentally handicapped when we know how to prevent it. But despite all that, I'm told that in a study in France, 50% of pregnant mothers were found to have abnormally low levels of iodine consumption. Papers in the UK, such as they've been, and they've usually been about relatively small numbers of people, but one published in 2004 showed that the rate of goiter in the Peak District, which had been high, um, they found that 30% of the women in that area, who were childbearing age, were low in iodine. Professor Robert Hume of Tayside Institute of Child Health looked at women in Surrey, and they, rather in Scotland, and they found that 40% of women across the UK consume less than half the recommend, recommended level of iodine. They described the results as worrying. Well, I'd say they are myself. He also described this as the first study to be carried out in the UK. Well, that's amazing. World Health Organization clearly were right. I couldn't believe that it was really true. I phoned my son-in-law, who's a UNICEF official, and said, is it really true that we don't iodize our salt? And he had a look through, and there's a very big paper that I've got myself at home, and yes, it is indeed true. And is it true that we don't even check people's urinary iodide to give ourselves a rough idea of how widespread this disorder is, or this deficiency is, and yes, that's absolutely true. No, we do not, so far as I know, and so far as he knew, have anything up and running at the moment. How incredible. In the lead article in The Lancet, Iodine Deficiency, Way to Go, in July 2008, John Lazarus and Peter Smythe confirmed that consumption of iodized salt in the UK probably represented less than 5% of all salt consumption. 50%, up to 50% of pregnant women in the UK could be significantly iodine deficient during pregnancy. That was based on studies in England, Wales and Scotland. And exactly the same patterns have been seen in Northern Ireland. John Lazarus and his colleague continued by saying that what we needed was a systematic examination to be undertaken in all parts of the UK in view of the neurocognitive implications, that is the effect on the brain. They are, respectively, the UK and Northern Ireland representatives to the International Council for Iodine Deficiency Disorders. If anyone ought to know, it's them. I have to say I was shocked to read these reports. I really was. It certainly came as news to me, and I'm sure it probably comes as news to you. So there it is. Iodine Deficiency Disorder seems to be a potentially enormous problem. It's in all the countries of the world. It's worst of all in Europe, which is amazing. And currently, we in the UK and Europe seem to be out of step with the rest of the world, it seems to me. We don't even know how widespread the problem is, or how seriously it affects the people. For only 10 cents a year, we could so easily protect the whole population. So that's what, about 6 or 7p a year. I know there's a large lobby that's concerned about food additives, however harmless and however needful they might be. If that's what's holding us back, well, is it that that's holding us back? Or is it simple ignorance? Is it the fact that we just don't know the facts? In any event, the stakes are too high, and for the sake of all our futures, we really do need to address this problem urgently and take action as 120 other countries already have done. We need to be iodizing our salt, and we need to be checking our population, and we need as doctors to be much more aware of iodine deficiency as a cause of thyroid lumps. Thank you for watching.